Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, April 24, 2015. This week, Essential Skills for Working with the Layer Works Templates. The Layer Works Templates from Studio Double D at Designer Digital's are incredibly detailed layered templates that make putting together a beautiful page super fast and easy. The designers have already done most of the work for you, so all you need to do to complete your own page is to add photos, journaling, and some paper. Here's how. Let's begin by learning how to put photos into the template. After you download and unzip your file, open it in Photoshop Elements by selecting File Open. Browse your computer for the unzipped file and click Open. Use a PSD or a TIFF file for this purpose. If you get a text warning at this point, just go ahead and click OK. Now look in the bottom right corner of the screen to find the Layers panel. This will show you all of the layers that are in the file. Select one of the layers where you'd like to put a photo. These are normally labeled Photo. When it's selected, it will be highlighted. Next, open a photo by selecting File, Open, and then browsing your computer to find the photos that you'd like to use. Now the photo becomes active in the editing window. Select Window, Arrange, Float All in Windows if you're in the full version of Photoshop, and if you're working in Elements, choose Window Images Tile. This allows you to see the photo and the template both in the large editing window at the same time. Next, get the Move tool. Click and drag the photo onto the template. Now close the photo file by clicking on the X in the top right corner of the photo title bar. Look at the template document. The photo needs to be large enough to completely cover up the photo placeholder or the mask that's on the template. If your photo is too small or too large, press Ctrl T or on a Mac system Command T to get the corner handles so that you can resize by clicking and dragging the corner until your photo fits into the space. The photo layer should be positioned one spot above the photo or paper layer that you selected in the Layers panel. So we'll look over here in the Layers panel and make sure that our photo here is one position above the photo placeholder. If it's not, you can drag it up or down until it rests one position above that photo placeholder. Next, create a clipping mask by pressing the keys alt Control g on a Mac system that's Option-Command-G in the full version of Photoshop. If you're working in Elements, press Control g or on a Mac system Command-G. This causes the photo to take on the shape of the placeholder beneath it, and it's called creating a clipping mask. Now you can see that the photo isn't hanging down beyond the frame. If the template you're working on has places for more than one photo, you can just repeat the process to cover up the rest of the photo placeholders. Now let's work on adding journaling to the template. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so that we can see the text that's already on the template, and that will be where we'll be placing our new text. With the template open in Photoshop or Elements, look over in the Layers panel at the bottom right corner of the screen. One or more of your layers will have a T icon on the left side like these three. Go ahead and double click one of the T icons to select the text. Now you'll see that the text has been highlighted over on your template page. If you get a font substitution warning, just go ahead and click OK. Now you can begin typing. As you type, your words will replace the words that are on the screen. When you're finished typing, click the check mark to confirm the new text. Now this check mark will either be at the top of the screen in the options bar 
if you're working in Photoshop, or it will be beneath your photo if you're working in Elements. If you don't like the font substitution that you got when you clicked OK, just double click the T icon again and choose a new font up here in the options bar. In Elements it may be at the bottom depending on which version you're using. Continue clicking on the T icons and changing the text that's there to your own. Next we'll add a background paper. To finish the page select the bottom layer in the layers panel. It's usually called background or background paper. Open a piece of digital paper by clicking File Open and double clicking or clicking on the paper and selecting OK. And we're going to drag the paper out and still using the Move tool, you're going to click, shift, and drag the paper over onto your template. It should come in one position above the background paper and by holding the shift key it brings the paper in centered. Now the digital paper is the new background. Now you've got all the skills that you need to complete a Studio Double D Layer Works template. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.